uh, so hi uh, hi uh, let's try to understand here about a few virtual machine concepts one is regions one is spot instance one is size and one is credentials what do we make out of uh, understand from this okay with respect to a virtual machine virtual machine uh, when we talk about regions we can uh, if, when a region is being created by azure what does mean a region it has a data center or it has three data centers now when uh, when region is having three data centers it is called as uh, available it's a zone and we mentioned the data center as three zones uh, three data centers is three zones and whereas when you have one data center and we call it ourselves as a region and uh, we usually call it as a region still in terms of uh, when we say region we might li link it to into a social science point of view it's a location and all that but uh, when azure tries to say that it's an azure region it's mostly about one data center and when they try to bring out there as a zone uh, point of view they try to say that they have three data centers in that geo location and uh, now coming to what do i get what do i have we have to take understanding from this region so we have limitations per region so one thing which you have to be aware is when you're trying to go for with a free trial account and everything and you're creating virtual machines the maximum amount of virtual machines you can create per region is uh, maximum you can go with this four when your machines are of one core each okay so when i created this machine okay you can see the size of the machine is one cpu and one cpu uh, so one core and the maximum per region you can go is four core so with that you can create four virtual machines now if you try to create a virtual machine with a size of four core then that is the only thing you can go with only one machine you can go with whereas if you're trying to create one that means to have four core per limit as a, as a, if you have to reach that limit uh, unless then we'll not be in a position right to uh, so what will happen if you reach after the reaching the limit you can't create a virtual machine it will throw an error that the maximum amount of uh, right now the available core limit is zero you already have uh, in your existing subscription that you have four core uh, four as your capacity so that is the maximum we can reach so when you say one core that means how uh, when it will reach four after you creating four vms of that similar virtual machine size and everything now there is no re uh, issue with respective to the family size and everything but yes if your subscription is a free trial and all that you will not be having access to some set of family size and everything so that is why region and size are something they go hand in hand in terms of the concepts of virtual machine but what i wanted to bring is per region you have a limit and you can create two vms of two core each that means four core hogaya uh, in east us region and then you can create another another region west us another two virtual machines of two core uh, which will be of four core totally for that west us region and similarly you can go and create in central india and all that uh, so you can go and create like that for a free trial account but whereas with an pay as you go if my subscription is a pay as you go model now i can i have a limit of 10 core per region now i can go to customer care and say that i would like to get more number of core and everything and enterprise there are there are different types of subscriptions in azure based on the which will offer billing and different services entirely and all that uh, so there will not be a huge change in all that but when i say service it's customer support and everything so based on that they will give the limitation and everything so when you go as a pay as you go you can increase your limit contacting the support team now how would you contact the support team you can actually use this uh, help icon okay so from that you can actually go and connect to them so uh, if you have any feedbacks you can drop there from the icon which i just now clicked uh, but this is how this things work guys uh, so when i say 10 core i mean that if i if i'm going as a pay as you go and i can create some number of machines and the maximum per region is 
to 10 cores so if i create two core of uh, six like that i can go ahead and create but whereas uh, you guys uh, pay as uh, if the uh, if anyone is actually using mostly a free trial account for practicing Azure and all that you will definitely see errors of creating more than three vms but usually because the default size we take is two core so that's why once in after two creating two missions you will face that issue and uh, certain times even after deleting the virtual machine you will not be in a position to create uh, uh, this that is because of cookies issue and you have to go and refresh your page and everything or you wait for one minute or two minutes and you refresh your entire page create a open new page and try to create it and it will be resolved but definitely certain times after you reaching the limit and then you delete your machines and you try to create a new machines you will face certain times challenges which i have faced similarly uh, but other than that when i say challenges it's just like still it thinks that the capacity is there is what it will think so after you refreshing and waiting for some time it will should be resolved when you open a new page now uh, when i talk about size there uh, there are different family sizes So the whole point is, the, if you see, the type is general purpose. This is general purpose, okay. Now if you go with a B a burst series, it's, it's also general purpose. E is a memory optimized. F is compute optimized type. And one is storage optimized. The other one is, uh, this is still a general series. Okay, I think this is good. Then we have, Okay. there are other types of things yeah now you see there is high performance compute and there is gpu but you have to request your quota for that okay as of now the subscription quota is not accepting that's why the list is actually here but you you have the other set of servers where you can request for this quota and everything what is meant by quota the limitation which i just now said okay now what is the point of having this type in a virtual machine it's uh, i uh, when we talk about a general purpose we use it for a general uh, base uh, uh, SAM, uh, most of the common workloads of websites which needs a uh, good compute and a good memory and all that uh, when it wants to have a balanced state and everything there are few uh, workloads whether it is a website or whether it's a application or it doesn't really matter if it is a workload which needs a huge amount of memory ram not memory is not uh, disk space memory is more of a ram random access memory so at that point of time the cache should be in the position to be having then you go for memory optimized servers if you see the memory optimized servers are more higher so for four core itself we have till 32 but whereas in general purpose you have still 16 in eight core you have till 32 but here eight core we have still 64 so they go for a different pricing now they, the pricing also changes now the same eight core 30 to 64 32 is 25 and whereas this one is 37 and even if you see the disk ops the iops input and output operations which can handle per second is one 12,800 whereas this is 28, 22,000 so there is a huge my uh, difference with that and based on that uh, things have, will be changing and if you go with a compute optimized it is more of compute uh, point of view so there you see uh, this this based on that uh, here we are not seeing the rest of the uh, machines is because they are not supportive and because of insufficient quota and everything but if you can see here i can get the rest of the servers in terms of compute optimized storage so there are a lot of servers which we can actually go with only the end of the day you have to request for that quota and everything some vms you will not be in a position to create only just because you don't have access now you can go and request for that and equally the family 
based on the family the hardware the C, the processor which is being utilized will entirely change and uh, so that is where they expect things to happen so just this is for the information so gpu is also there as a G, uh, compute type and that is more focused on uh, giving you uh, graphics graphics rendering and all that and high performance compute is more of uh, uh, is focused on giving you 10x performance and all that but equally uh, it is for high compute high computational workloads where uh, data analysis orchestration is happening so a huge load can anchor and that is where all these machines are very helpful in that but we have the rest of the uh, i have seen right now there are pass offerings in azure which do a very great job compared to these machines but it's up to the uh, company's choice whether they prefer a virtual machine or a pass offering just give me a second guys Let's try to jump into the further topics here. One is size is done and regions is done. Now we have credentials. When we talk about credentials here for a virtual uh, Windows machine, we are uh, we will have password based authentication. So what is meant by password based authentication? You are going to give a username and a password. That's called password based authentication. Whereas with a, with a Linux machine, what uh, uh, what do you have? There are two types of authentication when you have a Linux machine. It's SSH keys. The other one is password. What do you take from SSH keys? So SSH keys is a different uh, con uh, is a concept which I wanted to explain from a different recording entirely. But we have two types of authentications in a Linux, uh, Linux machine. One is SSH keys and password. Password based authentication is similar to uh, the way windows it is you go for a uh, username and password but the technology the way linux will authenticate for that username and password is a different one whereas windows use kerberos authentication we, uh, let's not get into the huge signs of how the pass authentication of password works but let's uh, what i wanted to say is ssh keys uh, authentication won't be there with windows because ssh key ssh is a technology utilized by the linux so we have ssh keys for that and in ssh keys we have uh, when we talk about ssh keys which one you have to realize there is a public key and there is a private key public key will be there with the machine vm in which you wanted to install and private key will be there with uh, in your local machine uh, that's about uh, this so uh, private key is is a way to say that uh, to your uh, in your local machines means your desktop or your laptop and everything it's a way to say that using the private key that uh, uh, to the vm that you can trust me so when you're giving username and password the way it can trust you to try to log in into that machine when you give your rdp or ssh similarly through ssh keys you through your local machine you're directly saying okay that you can trust my i'm i'm logging in from my machine to another machine so you are trying to the machine whichever is having private key is trying to say that or whichever is trying to log in uh, is trying to say that yeah you can trust me in okay so there when you go with ssh keys uh, you will not be uh, once you are given username you will not be asked for uh, password as such anything but yes in ssh keys we have a uh, if you wanted you can encrypt your uh, uh, even the key uh, within that we using a paraphrase and this if, if at all while you're creating ssh keys if you're trying to utilize a paraphrase then that is one so how do you create an ssh keys uh, you can create using uh, ssh key gen is an uh, is a uh, is one through which uh, command which you can use in powershell to create ssh keys so just as ssh key gen Okay, so SSH hyphen keygen. Sorry, SSH hyphen keygen.exe. When you click on it, it is going to create a 
ఆ పబ్లిక్ అండ్ ఆర్ఎస్ఏ కీ పేర్ పబ్లిక్ కీ అండ్ ప్రైవేట్ కీ కీ ఎయిట్ వెల్ క్రియేట్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ట్రైంగ్ టు సే దాట్ డూ యూ వాంట్ మీ టు స్టోర్ ది పబ్లిక్ కీ అండ్ ప్రైవేట్ కీ ఇన్ దిస్ ఫోల్డర్ ఆర్ యూ కెన్ గివ్ యువర్ ఫోల్డర్ పర్ వేర్ యూ వాంటెడ్ టు క్రియేట్ అండ్ యాజ్ ఆఫ్ నో ఐ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ ఎ కీ ఇన్ దాట్ లొకేషన్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ సేయింగ్ దాట్ డూ యూ వాంట్ మీ టు ఓవర్ రైట్ దాట్ అండ్ ఎస్ ఐ వాంటెడ్ టు ఓవర్ రైట్ దాట్ నౌ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆస్కింగ్ డూ యూ వాంటెడ్ టు గివ్ ఎ ప్యారాఫ్రెస్ ఆర్ యూ వాంటెడ్ టు గివ్ a uh, encrypted uh, way of say, uh, encrypting that one if you want it you can give a paraphrase and all that but i am not choosing that and uh, once you click on enter and uh, yeah rsa key has been generated with the public and private keys so if i go into this location sorry this is a location folder uh, i have two keys one is pub, uh, private key and this is public key so this public key so notepad are say dot pub so i open this and this is the public key so notepad i opened in notepad and i copy this and i actually utilize that in the when i create a virtual machine so let me show you how will i do that i can go click on create and when i'm choosing a linux machine when i choose a, w- a windows machine i don't have an option of any password authentication type here but when i choose a linux machine i have an option of use a password or ssh key now i choose an ssh key now there are three options here you can actually create a new pair and all that but as of now i want to upload the public key so here i'm going to paste my public so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here so there should not be no there should not be any spaces otherwise it will throw an error guys when i say spaces uh, so this is the exact test so when you're copying it just be careful on that you can't copy the other uh, uh, you can't copy the next space and everything and you can go ahead and create so once you go ahead and create you will not be further asking you any pa- see i didn't give any paraphrase so it will not ask me for paraphrase to log in so just using the azure user and providing the ad, ip address of this machine i will be able to log in but how will you log in using the technology called ssh and uh, that's about the authentication credential guys now when when we talk about a spot instance that's an entirely uh, different concept spot instance is used for development purposes so when you wanted to create machines uh, azure is trying to say that azure is trying to offer a solution to users that if you are not so specific that your machine has to be running uh, and all that uh, it's just for a development purpose and you are not so uh, very uh, focused that that this machine should be available after some time irrespective of it it should be there uh, and all that then uh, uh, they are going to give you the normal building point of view but if you are using for development purpose you are just creating for sample one and you don't care whether it is deleted or running or not and all that but you just wanted to go and just create for temporary for next 10 hours one job and all that or for 3 days or one week and all that you can go for spot instance spot instance is saying that they have a huge capacity reserve compute reserve compute capacity now all the compa- capacity will not be utilized by the all the customers in azure in a for a region now there will be un, uh, the unused capacity they can they can offer this for a lesser discount uh, for lesser price they give a huge discount of a margin of 50% to 60% and uh, you can go for a spot instance but what happens is in a free trial accounts you can't be able to create a spot instance for a pay as you go model and for the rest of the things you can go for a spot instance how does a spot instance go with if you can go here and see when you create a virtual machine the option which you see here is the enable option icon is the spot instance so when you enable it you will be getting it for a discounted price okay so if you see the previous was this one but right now you see for a very lesser price and spot instances will not be available in all regions now if you see your subscription doesn't support virtual machine creation in us choose a different location okay so when i go for a spot instance is not supporting at this region uh, so i'll go for okay this is because of this uh, 
uh, I have created I choose the image which is of a uh, image point of view my custom image but if I choose a spot instance here's West US is not working so I can go for East US so in all regions you will not be available even if you're going as a pay-as-you-go model it should be available in that region some regions are ready to give to customers for a lower cost for creating spot instances so some regions you will not be getting that chance and when you're trying to use availability set as an option in availability uh, uh, availability set as an option and you can't create a spot uh, you can't create an option so if you see it was previously grayed out it's right now available i can choose this option but as soon as i select this spot instance i will lose that uh, option here that availability set so when you wanted to create your machines of highly uh, with for an option of highly availability and all that you choose availability set but when you wanted that you for that you can't create a spot instance okay and now what does a spot instance it just offers you for a lower discount so there are two things here one is for uh, eviction policy the eviction policy you wanted as a stop or delete so what if after the reserved capacity so if they have a huge capacity they are giving it for a lesser cost so suddenly too many customers have come to Azure and they started going uh, and they wanted virtual machines so the under the under the the, uh, the, uh, the unused capacity is going less now that point of time they have to evict the virtual machines for whoever they are giving spot instance at that point of time do you want me to just stop your machine or delete your machine now based on that uh, you can go for the eviction policy and the type now in what situation uh, you want me to stop your machine or delete your machine so if, if which uh, azure is uh, exceeding their capacity and all that point of time uh, because of the region is having more number of customers and everything now that point of time you, based on that point you want me to go and uh, uh, stop it or i will uh, if the uh, if customers are using my uh, most in my capacity in the region normally uh, i will go ahead and increase the price so if i was offering 1 rupee for a spot instance per per hour for a uh, for a virtual machine 1 rupee per hour now I'll try to increase it to 1.25. Are you okay with that? If you're okay with that, you can go with this option of price and capacity. Now, uh, the original price of uh, the virtual machine per hour actually is three rupees per hour, but I increased to 1.25, 1 to 1.5. Why did I increase? Because the capacity of unused capacity in that region is decreasing. More number of customers are coming in, trying to create or using the compute instance and all that. Now, so I'll increase the Azure will try to increase the price from 1.1 1 .1 to 3 uh, to till to 3 and after you reaching do you want me to just stop it uh, so I, I can keep it at 2.5 and the capacity is uh, unused capacity is very less and after that do you want me to deallocate or stop is what so why why this is uh, not recommended for production workloads this recommend is not recommended for production workloads because we are not sure when they will be stopped or deleted we don't want any production machines to be stopped it's a way in terms of a server should have a ras functionality availability is a key factor so production workloads will always wanted their machines to be highly available irrespective of situations so that point of time we will not choose spot instances but for the other purposes like development or testing for a couple of days job or a couple of hours job we love to prefer to use spot instances. even if you see my videos i love to use spot instances because they offer lesser discount when i'm trying to show any demos so that's about spot instance so we tried covering about how a spot instance and everything so here the key things which you have to understand is eviction which is uh, either you can stop it or uh, uh, you delete it the next one is the eviction type the type of eviction is uh, price or capacity so based on more of if they wanted more cap azure wants uh, the unused capacity to be decreased and all that so that point of time you if you're preferring stop it will stop or if you're trying to delete you will delete the machine entirely and uh, what else were there spot instance offers discounted price and not suitable for production workloads why not suitable for production workloads 
because we can't guarantee at what point of time they will stop azure will stop or delete you don't have an option you can actually directly go and stop if you want it but when it is running you don't have a control because if the capacity of unused capacity is decreasing they can go for a stop or delete you are signing up for that here i hope these things were clear <laughs>